Good morning, guys. I wanted to jump on and talk to my kiddos, if you guys don't mind. I wanted to make sure they got their lesson in. I feel like it's kind of important. It is important, even to the littles. So if you guys are okay, pass the phone, tablet, computer, whatever they're watching it on, and let me talk to them for just a few minutes. We love you guys and miss y'all. Good morning, Tobias. Good morning, Callan. Good morning, Delilah, Lulu. Good morning, Paige. I miss you guys so, so much. I wanted you guys to have your lesson. I know it's kind of a, a silly situation going on out in the world today, and most of you probably don't even understand it, and that's okay. Okay, let's go ahead and close our eyes and say our prayers. If you have any prayer requests, you say them while we're praying, okay? Jesus, I ask that you touch us and keep us safe in, amidst all the mess that's going on around us. Give us peace and help us to keep our full faith in you, Lord. Help us to get back to our church services so we can be with our church family Touch each one of my littles as they go about their daily lives and everything that's going on with them, Lord. Keep them safe and protect them and help them to fully trust in you. Jesus, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, last week we talked about Abraham and his wife, Sarah, right? Okay, they had to move. The Lord asked them to pick up all their stuff and move to another country. That was scary, wasn't it? But not for Abraham. It says, our memory verse was, Abraham went as the Lord told him. He trusted God amidst all his troubles in his world, right? And he had to pack up all of his stuff on a donkey. Everything him and his wife had went on a donkey. And they moved and they trusted the Lord to go where they told them to go. So remember that verse and I will get your cash put in your um, folder as soon as we can get back to church. I got it tallied up. And I hope everybody is participating and I hope that everybody is here and I hope everybody has their Bible. Who has their Bible? Tobias, do you have your Bible? Callan, do you have your Bible? Lulu, you got your Bible ready? Paige, is yours ready? Delilah, do you have your, your Bible ready? Okay. So, I've got your participation, I've got your memory verse, and I've got, what's next? Hmm. Participation. Did we do participation yet? Are we going to participate? Yeah. Okay. So, today, we're going to watch a video like we always do, and we're going to talk about Abraham again. But his name changed. It's not Abraham anymore. It's Abram. And his wife's name changed from Sarah to Sarah. And then we introduce his nephew, Lot. We're going to watch the video and then we'll talk about it. Let me get my camera turned around. Bear with me. My phone's not working properly. You ready? The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys... Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, wrong one. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. You know how Miss Trinky is. There we go. Okay, now. The Sorry. Hall of Fame, 
Abraham. This is Abraham. When Abraham was younger, he was known as Abram. Abram lived in a place called Haran. One day, God told Abram, Leave your home with your family and go to a place that I will show you. Ah. So Abram traveled with his wife Sarai, their nephew Lot, and the rest of their family. The new land that they made home was crowded. Abram said to Lot, Let's not fight. Is the whole land not before us? Hmm. Let's split up. You go one way and I will go the other way. Aha! Uh -huh. So Lot looked to the left and to the right. He saw that the land of Jordan was well taken care of, so Lot chose to go the way that looked better to him. He took his family and they settled in the beautiful land near the town of Sodom. Abram took his family and they moved the other way. Then one day, God said to Abram, Look up, all the land you see will be blessed. I will give it to you and your family forever. Abram received the promise and the blessing because he was faithful. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, that was Abraham. His wife Sarah, or Abram, his wife Next Sarah. Time you do this, you oh, could sorry. be doing. Sarah, whose name changed to Sarah, and his nephew Lot. And they moved again. So, in our picture, which side looks better? The nice green side, all taken care of and pretty, or this side? It looks kind of dead, don't it? Yeah. Well, this is Lot. And this is Abraham. And they were told to split the land. So, Abraham told Lot, you go ahead and pick. You pick first. And he did. And he picked which side? He picked the greenest side, the nicest side, the best water, the best greenest grass, the prettiest that was already taken care of, right? So what did that leave Abraham with? That left him with this. That don't look as good as this, does it? No. All they had to do was share, and they both could have some of both, but they didn't share. Do you share? It's kind of hard to share your toys, isn't it? But everybody's happy if we just share, right? So God told Abraham, you're gonna be blessed because Lot was a little selfish. I'm gonna bless you, and he's gonna take all this and make it better. Okay, now our story, hope you can see it. Abraham and his nephew Lot lived near each other. They each owned many cows and many sheep. There wasn't enough grass for all the animals to eat. Abraham told Lot, we must live in different places. Because Lot was selfish, he chose the place with the most grass and water for himself. <sighs> That's not very nice, is it? So is it better to fight or is it better to just share? It's better to share, because then everybody's happy, right? If we share our things, even though sometimes we don't feel like sharing our things, everything will be okay. And you'll get the blessing for it, instead of 
being selfish like Lot, that wasn't nice. But because he was selfish, he didn't get chosen by God and blessed. So, kind of like in the world, what's going on right now, and I know you're too, like, too little to understand it, but it's like, have you been to the grocery store and looked at the store? There's no toilet paper. I know you've heard everybody talking about the toilet paper. There's no toilet paper. There's no food. Everybody's taking everything. But what about the people that don't have so much? That's kind of like law. Oh, Abraham getting this, right? But if we all would just share with each other, it wouldn't be like this. So, remember to share and be nice to our friends and our family, okay? And what's our verse for this one? Oh, it's up here. So Abraham, so Abraham said to Lot, there should be no arguing between you and me. Your herders and mine should not argue either. We are brothers. Are we all really brothers and sisters? No, not by blood. But we're brothers and sisters in Christ. And we should be nice to our family, right? Since we're all brothers and sisters in Christ, we're all family. So, what I want you to remember is there should be no fighting. We are brothers. Can you say it? There should be no fighting. We are brothers. Can you say it? Do it again. There should be no fighting. We are brothers. Remember to say that over and over and over and memorize your verse for next week. Even if we're not in church, that's okay. I'll do your lesson on here just like I did today. And I will bring all your papers for you to color. That way you don't miss out on coloring some cool stuff. I hope that you guys are being safe and being good and washing your hands and sanitizing your hands and being good. Don't forget to share, okay? We have to share. Jesus wants us to share. And if we have our full faith in Jesus and he's living in our lives and we're making good choices, then everything's going to be okay. Because what did the Bible say? If we make good choices, I will accept you. So, remember to make those good choices every day. Not just on Sunday, not just on Wednesday, but every day. So that when we get to heaven, Jesus can say, I will accept you because you made the good choices I asked you to make. Go ahead and read in your Bible. Do some devotions with mom and dad or big sister, big brothers. Have somebody read it to you. And next time, we're still going to be talking about Abraham and his wife. But they got sad. But we're going to find out what happens to them. So have a good week behave, be good, make your good choices, no fighting, just sharing because we are brothers, right? I love you guys. Have a good week and I hope to see you next week. And if not, I will send you a video just like this. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, here's a couple of our songs. I wanted you to hear them and Keep them in your mind. Remember to do the movements we did in class Sunday.
Okay. Here's our next one. <laughs> Page, I know you know this one. You sing it for me all the time. All right, Callan, come on, come on, Tobias, you got it. Okay, guys, that was it. And if you can even see me, I'm not sure. If you can get a video of your kids doing that, post it. Send it to Pastor Jamie or myself, and we'll post it on the Longview page if you're okay with that. To let everybody see that even the littles. 
can praise the Lord. Thank you guys. I love y'all so much. Miss y'all. See you soon.